Welcome back students. We were seeing the topic on human health and diseases. So now let's start with more diseases. Okay. Now in this session we are going to see about the protozoan diseases. Now protozoan diseases are mainly caused due to the protozoa. Okay. The first example for this can be the ant amoeba histolytica. This is the organism which causes amoebiasis. Amoebiasis means it is a disease in which the large intestine is mainly affected. As you can see, the severe ulcers are observed in the large intestine due to which the stool is uh, observed with excess of mucus and blood clots. Okay, so symptoms of uh, amoebiasis is mainly that uh, is abdominal pain, cramps. Uh, constipation, uh, altering with diarrhea and all is there, okay. So, this antamoeba histolytica mainly causes amoebiasis, okay. Next example of protozoan disease is of malaria, which is caused mainly due to the female anophilus mosquito. Now, this female anophilus mosquito does not cause malaria as it is it mainly acts as a vector that means a carrier of the plasmodium which is a main pathogen and causes malaria in our body okay so this female anaphylus mosquito is a carrier or vector which carries plasmodium vivax okay which causes mainly malaria so what happens in malaria mostly Fever is observed during regular intervals. Now, let's see about the life cycle of malarial parasite. Okay. Now, what happens when an infected mosquito, that means a mosquito which is carrying the plasmodium and uh, bites a healthy person, the blood is injected through the proboscis of mosquito in that healthy person. And this plasmodium enters or you can say goes to the liver of that healthy person and start infecting the liver cells. After infecting the liver cells, it turns into merozoids. You can say that is a, a various cellular stages. After that, it starts infecting the red blood cells. And there it starts form, it form in the two gametes. Now when another mosquito, healthy mosquito, which is not carrying the plasmodium, bites that infected person the gametes present in the blood enters into that in uh, mosquito's body and in the mosquito's body that gametes fuse zygote is formed and finally what happens these uh, zygotes and form well formed uh, plasmodium enters into the saliva salivary gland of mosquito and this infected mosquito when bites another healthy person and this life cycle goes on so like this malarial parasite is transport uh, you can say transmitted from healthy person from infected person to healthy person so students in this session we have seen the protozoan diseases in next session we will see about the fungal and helminth diseases thank you